this is just a quick update video because the garden's looking sort of quite magical really i've got the roses out now even though i picked all the ranunculas they're out my peony poppies are out and here is an example here and look at the color when it catches it's kind of in shade in the morning here but look where you just pull it out and it catches the sun there incredible coloring and here's the buds they're quite delicate these they do snap because they grow so tall so they do need staking which i had not realized and here's my grapevine because i live in the southeast of england so we have a very mild climate we have a absolutely thriving wine industry down here um, in fact even the french winemakers are buying land here and some gooseberries now coming out because i always talk about flowers and cottage garden but you know cottage garden does involve growing food sometimes too the ranunculus in the pots that i planted late are now flowering these cute little soapy smelling roses are flowering my flower my rose hedge i would like this to be a bit taller but remember i had to cut it back hard because of the black spot and there is no black spot so that has worked but i'm just a little bit disappointed that it's so low Here's all my ranunculus. I've cut them all. They're back. I need to cut more. This is a climbing rose at my um, outhouse. And um, these, I think, are status called Pink Pocus Flamingo. I think something like that. Another peony poppy. These just popped out overnight. So I don't know. I, they must have just started flowering this morning because they were not out last night when I was looking. I think this is my favourite colour rose, this one. I'll see if I can find um, the name. So in the rose hedge, I planted different roses, as you can see, from ranging from sort of uh, the red right through to the yellow. So it went red, pink, orange, yellow. Um, so over here I've got my cornflowers again I planted these in the wrong place and they also need staking they were flopping over everywhere they should have been further at the back of the border I had no idea they were going to grow that tall actually and then I have some more poppies in here but these are the poppy manzad which I think these poppies uh, you can use the seeds you can eat the seeds but double check that I will double check that and let you know I, you know the seeds that you have on bread and here's one of the seed pods here. So I think I'm going to keep those. Um, I've got some bells of Ireland I've already harvested over those. I'll show you some more in a minute. My anemones are still going strong. Just cannot believe those. And these bunny tails, which I think are a bit weird. <laughs> so I don't think I'll grow those again. They're kind of cute. They look really cute. and They're really soft, but they're kind of useless also. Sweet peas already flowering. I've got some blackberries here. I've got two... Of the oh, I've got loads of these blackberry bushes. I've got my first sunflower. Isn't that a beauty? I love it. Really nice. Needs watering actually. It looks like everything's wilting here. Uh, and it's this one's got sort of satellite buds, so it's going to flower. You know, more than one from one stem. And this is the quaking grass. They look like little beetles. I think these will look nice in floral arrangements. So I may grow more of those. Um, another um, blackberry bush on the other side. I've got some um, snapdragons here, which I've pinched out the tops, hence why they're not flowering yet, because I want them to have lots of uh, different heads as well. So here's the same variety of sunflower with sort of satellite heads, if you like. Oh, spinning around there. There's my rose hedge still flowering strong. The alliums are going over, but I'm going to try and collect the seeds this year and uh, grow some from seed but i love these ones these are really nice these, these were the tallest ones that i grew uh, and then i've got these drumstick alliums here these little small ones that haven't flowered yet you can just see them i didn't focus on that very well but they're they're just sort of starting to come out and they're about the size of um and this the about half the size of an egg and these are really weird because i thought this was um oh i forget the name of it now Anyway, it's Cleome, which is really weird because I could have sworn I had no success with those. Anyway, whatever I planted out here, I think, is Cleome. Weird. I did not think I had succeeded with those. These little Wisley, um, I forget what they're called now. They smell so beautiful. These are the Nicotiana. Sorry, those white flowers I was talking about then. The green flowers, the green foliage was the Nicotiana. I'm probably moving way too fast through here. 
the lavender has just gone crazy. This is a good advert for pers persevering with plants because these lavender were rubbish for about two years. And this year, I don't know, they seem to have settled in and they've gone crazy. And look at that. I mean, look at those roses. I mean, they're just gorgeous. And so here's the Bells of Ireland. And I planted some Nicotiana around here as well. And to be honest, they're in a big terracotta pot. And just in a terracotta pot, that green just looks really fresh and really nice. And then, of course, I've got my sweet peas towering above um, in their little cages and their little teepees. Uh, I've picked already a vase of the sweet peas because you must keep picking them to produce more flowers and to encourage them to keep growing. I think I must have planted more in these pots last year because they were mu much fuller. Perhaps it's still a bit early days, I don't know, but I may plant some more in the base of there. So, um, and then I've got this Pilgrim's Rose here. I think it's something Pilgrim something, this creamy, look how creamy it is, look at that. That's just stunning. Beautiful. Uh, more clematis on little tripods. This area I haven't really done yet. So I've got this area and the area around my shed I still need to work on. Uh, but look, this is another. This is a climbing rose. I need to stake this back because it's flopping. Because it, it needs to be encouraged up. I want it to clad this kind of fence here. I was supposed to be growing sweet peas also up here. But they, I just didn't, um, I didn't enrich the soil well enough. But look how beautiful these are. I mean, I will definitely do that next year, grow sweet peas up um, the back of this fence of a trellis here. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep encouraging this rose and I'm going to have to fix it because it's a mess. And look at this. I just want to, I love that sunflower just sitting there because it really reminds me of a Klimt painting, which I'll just show you. And this is the first one, and I sort of think it looks like my garden. And then this is the second one, which even looks more like my garden. And I think I'm going to paint my garden in this style. So that could be my next video, because that might be my project this week. Uh, since my back is out, I can't garden at the moment. So I think that's what I'm going to do, because the garden's just looking great. Anyway, back to the garden. And then there's the other... Um, blackberry bush and it's a cultivated blackberry so it doesn't have thorns and in fact the fruit actually does taste better as well it's kind of like got a toffee a rich toffee flavor so these are the pink flamingo and they they've got these little flowers on them look how cute they are i think they're status i'll um find that out for you as well back to the ranunculus there which honestly are just an absolute winner i will definitely be doing these i probably again but I probably won't plant them there. Um, and I'm not going to prune the roses that much next year because I do want them to get a bit taller. Um, so we're back to the patio now. And I've got the ranunculus that were flowering that I did as an experiment late. One thing I will say about ranunculus is they don't like pots. Anything I grew in a pot just has not flourished in the same way that they did in the ground. They did flower but they just didn't look as good and they didn't last as long. So there you are, i just give you a quick update on the garden, mainly because I have a terrible backache and haven't really been able to do much. I've had it now for about two weeks, so I'm just having to rest and try and uh, get it better. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. hope it was helpful on some level and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.